Welcome back to my channel. This is Canadian Retro. I've got another pickups video for you here. This stuff here um, all came at the same time, obviously. Uh, seven NES titles that I found out of Tilly's. Really good deal. And I thought I'd get this sort of out of the way because I can get the stuff ready for the Waterloo swap. There's one title here I'm going to be out of my collection, so I'll save that one for the end. Uh, the rest of them, though, here I'm going to do in order. So uh, for this whole deal, uh, what I did was I ended up paying approximately, yeah, I'm trying to remember exactly, basically just under $31. For everything here that included like tax and all that kind of stuff uh, because if you buy five you get one free and also I had a dollar off so I was able to put all that together and uh, get a pretty good deal here going on so I'll show you what I got here though we'll just consider this title the uh, the freebie of the lot and that is Mario Bros Duck Hunt uh, obviously a lot of the times you know I'd leave this behind if it was just sitting on the shelf by itself I probably just would have left it behind but recently I've acquired a couple of systems one of them still needs a copy of this and this one's in pretty good shape so I decided to pick that up plus it came with a dust sleeve which I need these like quite a bit so pretty cool right there uh, only problem with this one it has a tab missing right here but I have a game that I use for testing out systems and it's clean and everything like that but the label on it's just completely ugly um, that kind of thing so I'll be able to use the backing on that one uh, to put on here and I think that will clean this up a little bit and it really won't matter with my test cartridge if it's missing a tab or something like that but even uh, with that I mean it's completely tight it doesn't really matter if for some reason these games are all like I don't know almost like new it seems like except for the one that I want to add in my collection which has a few stickers on it but um, cool nonetheless and dust leaves like I said like I absolutely need those so pretty cool right there uh, next one here is Tetris which obviously is a must-have for it and I have this one already and I do have this one boxed as well so I don't really need like you know multiple copies of this so this one's going to be up for trade or sale but again uh, the Nintendo sleeve came with it and not too bad at all I think and finding NES games I think at that price these days is pretty much where it's at so pretty cool right there uh, moving on I also picked up Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles which again I have in my collection so uh, I won't be needing this copy of it but I might um, compare this against mine because the label seems a fairly mint on that one and I do love the artwork on that one it's absolutely phenomenal uh, right there but this one's sort of a love-hate game I think for a lot of people just because uh, it can be extremely challenging in parts almost like uh, you know unbear unbearably punishing kind of thing but again five bucks for that I wasn't gonna leave that behind and I'll be able to pull for that sleeve as well for my collection so that's kind of nice and then Super Mario Bros 3 uh, same kind of deal of course I have this one already boxed um, and also loose on the shelf for when I want to play it kind of thing but uh, cool nonetheless and uh, sleeve kind of thing and five bucks we'll never turn that game down for five uh, moving on though we're getting into a little more pricey title here which is kind of sweet and that's bubble bobble so this one's pretty awesome right there only problem with this one's a little ding right here this is an absolute classic and again I have this one box because uh, back in the day my wife um, she sort of kept the box of her NES and inside that box and if you saw that video it's like way back when I posted that video but inside that box were three uh, boxes four games as well like all all ready to go and they just didn't have the games with them but uh, the boxes were like an absolute mint shape so I actually have a really minty copy um, of this box and complete uh, for my collection already but uh, absolute true classic and I was playing this not too long ago really enjoy this game so uh, if you don't have this one in your collection you definitely need to of course uh, speaking of the double take technique here's a double take for you also found another copy of bubble wobble so there's two of them there uh, you can tell this is a different one in case you don't believe me there's no ding on it right there and uh, again beautiful shape because I think you know we probably sat in these dust sleeves forever so they didn't get really get scratched up or dinged up kind of thing um, pretty awesome right there and obviously I'll use that as a recouper as well and uh, be able to use that sleeve for my collection so pretty sweet and then the last title which isn't nearly as fancy as any of those but I figured you know I'll be able to add this in free and then some kind of thing into my collection so when I'm able to do that I don't mind picking up games for a little more than uh, you know a little less valuable or whatever 
as long as I don't have it in the collection already, and that's what this one sort of falls under that category, and that's Magic Dart, so I didn't have this in my collection already. I don't think I've ever seen it out there or bothered to scope it out or pick it up, but again, I'll be able to add that into my collection, it won't cost me a cent to do it, so that's pretty sweet. Again, five bucks with a Nintendo sleeve, so I'll be able to protect a more valuable game uh, with that. So pretty sweet. If you haven't checked out this game, you should go check out some gameplay footage of it. It's kind of funny. Uh, character selection on this one has like a range of different characters that you can pick from. And there's like sort of like the muscle guy, and then there's uh, like robots and aliens and all this kind of stuff. And uh, each one that's like throwing a dart has their own like animation stuff like that. It's pretty cool. I bet you it's pretty technically challenging as far as uh, you know. Um, the technique that you use in order to do it. I'm sure it's like one of those things where you fill up a power meter and you have to get the angle right and all that kind of stuff. Sort of like very much like those uh, classic dark games from back in the day. This one just has some pretty funky animations on it and each one has its own little special like throwing animation so it's pretty cool. Um, <laughs> go check it out if you haven't already and really happy to add a new NES title into my collection that I didn't have already so really rocking right there that's everything i have this time around for you guys thanks again for watching if you haven't subscribed yet please do feel free to thumbs up this video comment down below and i'll see you all later